Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to make the snow effect, which is in the Shader Graph preview pack. Uh, this is what it looks like. So here's the model that's given. And if we change these sliders, you can increase the amount of snow on the model. And just like you'd expect, that snow comes from top down. And if you go from looking from below, it doesn't cover the bottom. So it's some kind of, it is like how snow would render. Um, if you're making this for yourself, you probably want an actual texture for the snow. We're just using a color to cover it with, but it'll be easy enough for you to swap it out with a texture. Um, you can also change the like power here we go of the snow, so you can make it like completely white, opaque, or you can you can make it a bit transparent. Whatever you want, you can mess around with sliders as much as you like. You can also change the direction it comes from, so you could change uh, it to minus one, so the snow comes from below. I don't know why you'd want that, but it's possible. You can also change it so you can have it coming from the X, so it comes from the side instead, which looks pretty cool. But yeah, still, we're going to just leave it normal with it coming from top down like snow would be. And anyway, we're going to create our own now, show you how to make it. So, material, snow mat, create uh, shader, uh, snow shader. We'll put the material on, and we'll put the shader on, and we'll open up the shader. Oops, did something wrong. Uh, create shader. I didn't like that name. Maybe it's already been used by the original one. I'll just put snow. Put snow on here. Open up snow. Here we go, it's working now. So, if you want to follow along with me and use these materials that were given, you'll want to... Um, well, first of all, find them in the fight. It's, it's just in, uh, if you filter for like texture on here, you'll find it. it. It's in there somewhere. Go go searching. Anyway, um, I'll also link this package in the description anyway. It's by Unity, but I'll link you to it. Um, now, we want to import these four textures. Um, so the albedo, the normal, the emission and the metallic so albedo emission metallic normal and the reason we do this is so that we can uh what's that make a pbr texture sample now when we drag in each of these things so we get the albedo linked with the albedo normal to normal and so on i'm sure you can do this if that's if you're following along with me if you have your own model and materials then obviously just replace the stuff with them so this is just like the material would normally be kind of like if, if it was in here and we want to keep the um, albedo the same the normal the same and the metallic the same but we want to change the um emission because well we don't want it to emit this like it, this isn't what we want we want to emit the snow on top of it so the main thing about the shader, the, the key point about it, is the snow coming from top down. And the way we do that is by using vectors. Now let me just minimize these. We're going to get a vector, normal vector, whoops, normal vector. Uh, a vector in maths, is a I mean, presumably you know, but a vector is like the line from A to B, right? So if we have A here, B here, the vector is across, and that would be if X equals 1. And we're going to have a vector going top down, which is y equals 1. So it would go from top down. Now I'll show you what you do, what happens if you change the values. So we want to have a normal vector. And we also want a vector 3, which is going to be the direction of the snow. So snow direction. And we'll put this here. And we want to get the dot product of this. Now this is obviously a maths equation, which takes in the values and outputs. Uh, if we go to the snow direction and we change y to 1, comes from below uh, from top sorry minus one uh, obviously if I as I said like you can have x equals one to have it come from well it comes from the right sorry uh, and obviously if you had minus one instead there you go and then z comes from the front or from behind so if we have z equals minus one it comes from this is where we're facing z equals one it's coming from behind the object we can't see it we can't spin it around in here we can spin it here but it's not linked yet now we're going to simply stay to y equals 1. And the dot product is something like, um, well imagine you had a triangle and you want to get the dot product of this, this, and the angle. You take the magnitude of this, the magnitude of this, times by the cosine of the angle. If I'm right, that is the maths equation for it. I can't remember, we've not actually done that. 
uh, before at school, but I'm sure it'll come up for next year. I'm only doing the first year of A-level maths right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, we then want to cut out the bit that doesn't that isn't white. We want to only have the effect happen on the bit which is visible from above for this. So that means we need to use a step. And with the step, we also want to have a value which we can change, which is going to be how much the snow covers. So uh, snow depth. And that allows us to change. Um, I was sliding it earlier to show like the amount of snow that's on top. So if I change this value to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on, you can go minus one to have it covered. We're going to leave it at zero because that's half and half. Um, we also, once we've got this, we could just go with this, but we don't want the effect to be completely like blocky like that. How can we just move all these? Nice. We want to have it kind of tr uh, a gradient, like have it fade somewhat, which means we can use the Fresnel effect. And obviously you can then change all the values of that anyway. So let's get a vector one to change the strength of the Fresnel. So for, uh, how do you spell it again? Fresnel, like that, Fresnel power. Um, and we'll put that to, I think zero is too low. We'll put that to three. Um, and then we obviously want the Fresnel effect and that goes into the power bit. Uh, three might be, yeah, four is probably better. Um, let's move it up here. And now if you want, this is completely optional, but you can also have a uh, Fresnel color spelt the English way. And then we can multiply that so that we can then if we want, we can change the frontal color, but we're not going to do that for this. Though you can if you want, so I've put the option there. Uh, and then we want another multiply here so that we can have this effect here, so that only only the top half gets the effect. And the effect that it's going to get is the frontal effect. So as you see, half and half. This is black just means like nothing here, and then frontal for the effect, which is what we want. Now. What we want to do finally over here now we've got our two main things we've got the all the textures and we've got our effect which is a gradient coming from top down we want to add them together we don't want to multiply because if you see here if we multiply these effects it isn't what we want if we multiply the emission and this um it looks very odd here it kind of just takes the emission of this material like so the it takes the actual texture and adds has it uh, has it as a gradient so that um as we come closer in there's less of it but that's not what we want for this we want to add them so that we get them kind of like overlapping so we get the emission oops let me go for a little bit we get the emission and then the effect on the top so that adds it on top it doesn't multiply no, none of them none of the uh no part of either of these effects are mixed they're simply just added layered on top of each other and now if we change that to the emission, as you see, on the top, whatever the top half of the object is at the time, the effect is covering. Now if we save this, and I'm going to dock it here so that we can go here. Now we must have the value a bit high. Or the textures haven't gone in. Okay. Just drag the textures in. There we go. Now we can change the values. So as you see here, Fresnel power. So let's say we did want it with full snow. Then we can change the depth to choose how much is covered. We can change the direction. We can change the direction on that axis, that axis, whatever you want. But anyway, uh, this tutorial was probably quicker than the last one. It wasn't uh, that difficult to follow, hopefully. Uh, here is the graph. Let me just oops let me undock it so that you guys can see it um oh we'll zoomed in um so we have the frontal effect for making it uh dampened on the edge so it's not like completely solid we have the vector to find out where the top of the object is and only have the effect on the top of the object and then the step cuts out the bottom bit so the effect doesn't no effect happens below that and then we add that to the mesh uh, to the texture and this is what we get so we get the texture with snow on top well, anyway, uh, if you want to join the Discord, click on the link in the description. If you want to subscribe for more, if you want to like to let me know which videos you want to see more of, uh, do that. Um, leave any comments if you need help or whatever. The same, same old, same old. But anyway, 
Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.